Today's rapid fire question is, how do lenders determine the loan amount? Hey everybody, my name is Chris Choi. I'm a mortgage broker owner located out of the DC metro area and our company is licensed in 15 states. I think this is a fantastic question because a lot of clients are always wondering how do you come up with your decision on what I can afford? And it really comes down to three main components. Number one is going to be your DTI, your debt to income ratio, which is made up of two components. One is going to be your gross income and then the second is going to be your overall uh, expense load, your liability load that's going to be into it. Now we have certain metrics depending on the loan type and that's going to determine how high we can go in the debt load but that doesn't mean that you should be going for a house at your maximum purchase price of uh, ability. It should be at your affordability range but we can talk about that in a different video. And then number two is going to be your LTV, your loan to value ratio. And that's really determined by how much assets or down payment you are capable of bringing into the table. So if you can only bring, let's say one, two percent, but then, you know, you don't qualify for a VA loan or you don't qualify for a USDA loan, then you're not going to be able to qualify for a mortgage loan. So it's really going to depend on the product, loan product that you are looking for and then how much down payment you're able to bring into the table. Now, the third component that helps the lender determine the loan amount that you can receive is going to be the credit score. And the credit score, I like to think of it as kind of like an SAT score. It's not the only information or data point that's necessary uh, to determine uh, what type of rate you can get as well as if you can qualify for a mortgage but it's just one of the various components that we use to assess your qualifications and your approval determination so a credit score typically for a conventional loan is going to be anything above a 620 and then for an fha it's going to be above 580 and then for a va as well above 620 and then usda it's going to just vary depending on the situation but you know, I take to look at it as it's, you know, always lagging a little bit. Let's say you are being financially responsible now, but it's, you know, your score is really low because of the decisions or the financial uh, mishaps that took place in your life uh, back then, because it's going to take a while for you to kind of come out of that. So don't be so stressed about it. It's not the only determining factor. Um, a lot of people get confused that it is, it's not. It also has to do with your DTI, your debt to income ratio, as well as, you know, your ability for a down payment as well as the closing cost um, if you don't want to go too high in a rate. So those are going to be the three main factors that we use to, determ to, to, <laughs> Bella, to determine your loan amount. If you enjoyed this video and this information, then I recommend you watching this video about why it's almost impossible to get the absolute lowest rate available out there. I hope you enjoyed this. Please comment below, hit like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Thank you.